Welcome back to Garage K. On this episode, I'm going Nico. And it looks like it's going to have to be modified straight out of the packet. So it's what's unusual about that. I saw online that there's going to be some cappuccino drifting at Nico Circuit, so off we go. I heard online that there was going to be some cappuccino drifting at Nico Circuit and I wanted to check it out. So I jumped in the Alteza and off I went. Now this is quite a long video um, and the reason it's like that is because I wanted to not only give you as much detail and show you as many cars as I possibly could, but also do a little bit of interviewing and things like that. Um, because a lot of people don't understand how the cappuccino works. I know, um, but a lot of people don't, and people ask the same questions all the time. What turbos fit? Um, you know, what should I do to make some power? Things like that. A lot of those things are going to be answered in this video if you pay close attention. I added uh, subtitles for when I spoke in Japanese, and speaking of the Japanese, please don't hate on me for my Japanese. It is terrible, but I do my best. Um, I haven't really studied it but uh, I can get by in simple conversation. So if you speak better Japanese than I do, well done. Kudos to you, but my Japanese is shit. Also, my translations are not perfectly 100% accurate. They, my translate, what the person said and what I've written down the bottom as a subtitle mean the same thing, but are they exactly word for word exactly? No. Um, and I did that for ease and speed and uh, to make things make a little bit more sense. This video contains walk-arounds of every single car. This video contains a parade. This video contains a ride-along. So if you have the time, please watch the whole thing. Um, I thought it was better to do that than to split it up into several videos. Though I could, but I figured I'd be cheating you out of more content, which I have. I figured if I split it up into sections and made one video for the cars, one video for the racing, one video for the ride along, that's cheating you out of what what is that four weeks worth of videos. So this is one long video. You can watch it over four weeks if you like, but there will be another video for you next Friday anyway. So before I talk too long, let's get into it. Discovery cruised past me and looked out of his window like this. He was cruising. As he drove past, and I'm like, wow, what the hell, man? Um, and then further up the road, this happened. Look at this thing. This guy, holy shit. This guy drove past me hella fast earlier and looked down at me, like out of his high ass window, looked down at me, and now look at it. Can't see much, we've got arc intercooler in there, looks like. There's a lot going on here, we've got Nissan. Nissan brakes. Weird, okay. Weird flex, what's going on in the back? Stockies on the rear. Oh, we got a the sap doubled in. In there. It's a DA62. I think. 
Could possibly be. Yep, 62. Cool. What do we got here? Damn. It's his car. <laughs> no, Snowdrift. Snowdrift. Yonku? No, FF. FF. Non Tabo. Non Tabo. K Rock A? Yes. Nice. K Rock A or. 460. Kilo, kilogram. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 460 kilo. Yes, yes. Wow. Yes, yes. Karoi. Naked. Naked. Strange. <laughs> right, this has been converted to FR, apparently. The, the old FR mirror. This is sick. Just riveted on. I'm riveted. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yo. <laughs> Holy shit. That's fucking wild! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> We've got flat bar being used as uh, chassis bracing over there. This is incredible. So cool. Fifteen though.
あの少し小さくしていやー
放開始でーす。These are pretty dope. To stock intercooler. That's strange. Okay. Uh, looks like stock turbo.
this cappuccino, we have a Monster Hyper Turbo in there. The Bushun. And then this. It's got Nas. It is a winter pack, as you can see. But what do we got for an intercooler? Uh, looks like an Arc. Arc intercooler. And then it's got a little Nos bottle here. Yo. Activated by the gas pedal. It's got the carbon one piece roof. Normal brakes. like this you don't notice straight away the way the ISC valve's been mounted like that it's an amazing cockpit like it's got the battery right there um, I'm not sure what this run max thing does wiring Pedals are like that. Now 
we got it. <laughs> he blew his transmission, blew third gear, so that's the end of that. グリップ上級のお三方の圧力です。
it for this episode thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed it hit the like button if you'd like to see what i do next hit the subscribe button we're very close to 660 uh subscribers so i'm stoked about that are you i want to give away a cappuccino so if you would like it let me know in the comments which was your favorite car and why um your name will go into a random number generator thingy and you might win it 
you need to be a subscriber if you're not you can't um yeah i'll check i will check if you're not a subscriber you can't have it um yeah these things haul ass they really do i am going to give away the copen because it's still here we'll we'll do that in the next episode if he hasn't contacted me by next friday that's going to somebody else um yeah check out the uh, description for random stuff if you'd like to support the channel, go to www.garagek.com, pick up a sticker, or give me a thousand yen and I'll put a sticker on my door in Japan for you. Um, yeah, that's it. Later.